today, Sam Bowie. Uh, Sunday, 1st of January 2017. Happy New Year, everyone. What's going on today? Well, after nearly 10 days here at the shack, I'm getting ready to head back to Canberra for a couple of weeks back at the grindstone. But anyway, um, in my last solar power video, I talked about having two battery banks totaling just over a thousand amp hours. And that got me thinking, because, you know, I don't use a whole lot of electricity. Do I really need that much battery storage? Or, um, for someone else, what if you can't afford that much in the way of batteries? Now, every solar power system is different, it's individual. It should be suited to the user's needs. I use about two and a half to three kilowatt hours a day here at the shack. I don't run a lot of appliances. Um, I've got my satellite modem and laptop going pretty much all the time during the day. Get turned off at night when I go to bed. Summertime, I've got a fan going all during the day. Uh, and usually also through, all through the night. Look at I got visitor. Three kilowatt hours a day. And when I say three kilowatt hours a day usage, I'm talking about what the charge controller actually puts into the battery bank. Not what the inverter pulls out or not what comes out after the inverter. I used to measure it that way. And you're just fooling yourself if you start working out your numbers based on that. So I started using what goes into the battery bank because you know there are charging losses. The battery's got their own resistance. As electricity gets pushed in there, um, they give off heat. When the inverter sucks power out, it's using power to convert power to from DC to AC. So there are losses there. If I had the right meters, right gear, I'd be able to test all of that. But I don't. I'm only going off what the charge controller is telling me, and it tells me how much it puts in every day. Be handy if it told me, gave me cumulative totals like over a week or stuff like that. But anyway, so then I thought I'd run a test because I've got plenty of spare batteries around here. You know, I've got mixed mass batteries here, there, and everywhere. Match, I've got match sets, unmatched sets. I just pick them up second hand whenever I see a good deal. So we'll go into the house. It's about 2 pm at the moment. We'll go into the house and I'll show you what I've done. Alright, there's the forklift batteries. There's the shopping centre batteries. And these Hawker SBS 130. 127 amp hour batteries, 6 volts. Done up in series to get 24 volts. Batteries are at flow. 270 watts coming in. That's from um, 1.5 kilowatt of panels. I'll get out there shortly and I'll test, test the temperature. But the batteries that float, they're never going to bring in a whole lot of power anyway. There we go, 2.3 kilowatt hours. That's what has gone into the batteries since sun up this morning. So obviously I've taken power out of the batteries overnight. But that's what I've put in so far. And I'm continuing to use power. So again, that'll be pretty close. I'll probably get up around three kilowatt hours for the day. Yeah, I could use less. Uh, but you know, I'm making my own. I've got more there than what I need, so what's the point of using less? But what I am doing, um, I probably won't get it done today. And this is mainly more for convenience than saving electricity. The pressure sensor on my water pump from the big tank, that uh, shit itself a few months ago. And I've just been plugging it in manually, turning it on when I need to, turning it off. So I figure I'm going to go back to the DC pressure pump. And I'll give you a quick look at that. I'm basically going to just set the whole thing all up, all over again. 
So up on the roof, I've still only got that 100 watt solar panel. Muppet charge controller. See the batteries there, 13.8 volt. They're pretty much chock a block full. I've got the 1000 watt in inver inverter there. That's my backup. Now I can run the fridge off of that. I picked up these two batteries. Uh, they come out of a forklift. Deep cycle batteries, these are 6 volt. You can see they're about the same size as a small car battery. Got them hooked up in series. I'm taking a bit of a guess, but I'd say they're about 120 amp hours each. So I've got 120 amp hours there. And a little DC pump. Rough and ready. Inline filter. All I've really got to do, I may even get it done this afternoon. But I'm not feeling real energetic. I've just got to run the pipe from there to this four and a half thousand litre rainwater tank. Good drinking water. And if it does get low, I'll just use the transfer pump pump water from the main tank, 90,000 litres, it's currently full, um, I'll pump from there and there's only about 10 metres up to this other smaller tank, that's it and then I can go back to having water on demand rather than just having a piss fart about plugging a pump, unswitch it and making sure I've got a tap turned on all the time because there's no pressure switch and I don't want to go blow the plumbing up in the house. So I'll give you a quick close up look. There we go, Pioneer water tank. Colourblonde steel. Plastic lined. No light. No light gets in there, so there's no algae. There's no filtration, no treatment. I grew up on muddy rainwater. Don't need any of that fancy stuff. So how do the numbers stack up on this system? Uh, 127 amp hours, 24 volts, nominal. Just over three kilowatt hours. Deep cycle batteries, and deep cycle means really 50% depth of discharge. You really shouldn't be going anywhere below that. I prefer to keep above 70% um, state of charge, 30% depth of discharge. So you're looking at that, it gives me 900 watt hours to one and a half kilowatt hours to play with to get through the night. And that's all right, I've done that. I uh, Checked the voltage the other morning at about 5.30 in the morning. It was 24.4, I think it was, from memory. And approximately, that's down to 60 to 65% state of charge. Less than ideal. But, you know, if you've got um, batteries but not a whole lot of batteries. If you're smart with your usage, do most of your electricity work during the day. You can make it through the night with a fairly small battery bank. Now just a reminder too, I've got plenty of solar panels here. So it's been, look you can see behind me, it's overcast. Uh, you know, I'm still managing to bring in about 300 watts from that because I've got currently one and a half kilowatts of panels hooked up. I could hook up another two panels easily today. What's the point? You know, battery is already fully charged. Adding another two more panels, not really going to achieve a whole lot. Just more exercise. So I can run six panels easily without stressing the charge controller, without stressing out my circuit breakers which I've still got to get around to ordering some 
38 breakers for that. So, you know, I checked the numbers beforehand, worked out on the computer in my head, on a bit of paper, double, triple, triple checked. I thought, yep, this can work. But there's no substitute for the real, real world test. I've had this going for probably three or four days now. Real world test. Yes, it actually works. I can get by with minimal batteries if I need to. And if I can do it, so can you. So that's it from me for today. Uh, I've got a couple of videos backed up, so I probably won't be doing making another video for a, a week or so. See how we get on with this DC pressure pump. Thanks for watching. Again, Happy New Year. And... I'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.